JB Weld, it's the water weld version. They say that you can put this stuff uh, right on a boat, aluminum, steel, underwater, it doesn't matter if it's submerged underwater, you can just break it off, squeeze it, and then put it right on the hull, and it'll seal it underwater. Uh, it can hold up to 900 PSI, and uh, it takes 25 minutes to set, and one time is the cure time on this stuff. Um, it's, the cure color is, it says it's off-white. But uh, does fiberglass, PVC, plastics, copper, brass, iron, and aluminum. Uh, it's resistant to water, oil, gas, diesel, and hydraulic fluids, and most chemicals. So if any of you know the original JB Weld, it doesn't work in gas tanks or anything. Gas just eats it right up. So this stuff is really nice to have. I'm going to uh, go ahead and JB Weld, water weld this uh, little aluminum John boat. Um, I went ahead and soldered in some holes and then I'm going to fill it up all the bumps and stuff with this water weld. So it comes in a little package like this. Um, there's a little sticker that goes on top of the weld itself. And basically it comes in a tube like this. Inside is one hardener, on the outside is a different type of hardener. There's the steel and then the hardener. So basically, you're just going to peel off a little bit. There's a little lab right there. Just kind of peel it back a little bit. Just shrivel it down to wherever you want to pull it back. And then you're just going to pinch off a little bit, just kind of like that. And then save the rest. Go ahead and put the top back over like that. And then put it back in the tube. Just like that, drop it back down into the tube. Okay, so I'm going to be working on this little spot right here. And you're going to want to take it and you keep squishing it until it mixes. Because the core is the hardener, or the core, I believe, is the steel and the outside is the hardener. So it's going to keep on like Play Doh. Got a little storm going on here right now, so I'm not sure if you guys can hear me that great. Alright, so once you got that all mixed up real nice. You're just going to take a little piece off and just kind of, first you're going to clean your surface. I went ahead and sanded it and then this is aluminum so you got to use a stainless brush. Um, just put that on there like that. Not too thick, just fill the hole. You know, you're going to just fill in a hole, that's all. What I noticed uh, works real well is you put a little spit on your finger and it'll help you smooth it out. Now, it might increase set time because you just wet it, but that's what I like to do. It just makes it a lot easier to work with. Kind of push it in there. We're going to be sanding this later. All right, and that's that. You just let it set up. I'm going to get it to sand later, and I'm obviously going to paint this boat like a military color or camo or something later. So that's pretty much all there is to this uh, JB water weld. I'll do a little bit of reviews later on uh, after I sand it, and we'll see how it holds up.